I'm James Newell and this is the Dyson V11 Absolute and the Dyson V15 Detect Complete. Dyson's most powerful and premium cordless vacuum cleaners. But what does each one offer? What are the differences between them? Are they any good? And which one should you get? Well, watch this review to find out. But first, why not subscribe to the channel? After all, it's free and it would be much appreciated. Released in March 2019, the Dyson V11 was, until recently, Dyson's flagship vacuum cleaner, and it's still one of the best vacuum cleaners you can get. Now, over the years, I've owned several Dyson vacuum cleaners, and they've been pretty good. But this is the first time I've owned and used two such premium products. And I have to say, broadly speaking, they're fantastic. The V11 comes in three models, the Absolute, the Torque Drive, and the Animal, with the main differences between them being the number of cleaning heads and attachments they come with. The Absolute is their top model with six attachments and two cleaning heads, a Torque Drive motor head, which has a DLS or dynamic load sensor technology for deep cleaning your carpets, and a soft roller cleaning head for hard floors. Their mid-range model, the torque drive again comes with six attachments, but is missing the soft roller cleaning head. And Dyson's least expensive V11, the Animal, comes with five attachments and again is missing the soft roller cleaning head. Aside from these differences though, they look identical and have exactly the same suction power at 185 air watts. In March 2021, Dyson released the V15 Detect, a vacuum cleaner that's now taken the flagship crown from the Dyson V11. Aesthetically, it looks the same as the V11, but there have been a few noticeable improvements, which I'll come on to in a moment. Like the V11, the V15 Detect comes in three main models. The Complete, the Absolute, and the Animal. The Complete, as the name implies, comes complete with seven attachments and two cleaning heads. A torque drive cleaner head with anti-tangle technology, which again has DLS and is designed for any floor surface, and a laser slim, fluffy cleaner head. I don't make these names up, which is designed for hard floor surfaces. Their mid-range model, the Absolute, also comes with both cleaner heads, but only six attachments. And the cheapest of the V15s, the Animal, again comes with six attachments, but is missing the laser slim, fluffy cleaner head. All three models look identical, and they all have the same suction power, which impressively is 45 air watts more than the V11, at 230 air watts, making it one of the most powerful cordless vacuum cleaners currently on the market. Now the vacuum cleaners I have are the V11 Absolute and the V15 Complete. And aside from their different color filter heads, with the purple being the V11 and the blue being the V15, they look identical. When it comes to attachments, they broadly are the same, with the V15 Complete coming with a light pipe, which, as the name implies, lights up when you're using it. Impressively, both vacuum cleaners offer the same 60 minute runtime on their lowest setting, which is perhaps even more impressive with the V15, which is more powerful than the V11. And Dyson aren't exaggerating with these times. In our real world use, both vacuum cleaners lasted 60 minutes on their lowest setting. The LCD control panel located on top of both vacuum cleaners allows you to change the power at the press of a button with the three choices being low, medium, and boost, along with an auto mode, which automatically adjusts depending on the floor type you're cleaning. 
However, new to the V15 is the addition of a particle detection system, which appears when the cleaner is in use. This new technology has an acoustic sensor, or sound sensor, detecting the different particle sizes the V15 picks up, displaying them in microns. According to Dyson, the yellow displays particles the size of allergens. Orange displays microscopic dust particles. Pink are dust mites, and purple is sugar and fleas. This LCD display gives more visibility of what you're vacuum cleaning. But in the real world use, my opinion of this has changed several times. Initially, I was skeptical about it, not because I didn't think it worked, but what do I really need it for? However, as soon as I started using the V15, it was fascinating to see just how much it was picking up and gave another real-time visual of how well the V15 was working. But the novelty has soon worn off and I haven't paid much attention to it since. So good though it is, and I'm sure it is good, I'm just not using it. Now perhaps the biggest difference between the V15 and the V11 is the laser dust detection feature found in the V15 slim fluffy cleaning head designed for hard floors. The cleaning head is not only smaller than the one that comes with the V11, but there is also a laser light that sits just seven millimeters off the floor and points down a one and a half degree angle. The green beam of light that is emitted by the laser highlights dust and dirt, which otherwise you might not see. Demonstrations for this feature look fantastic, and some of the reviews I've read almost suggest it's the best thing since sliced bread, and it is good, doing what it says on the tin, detecting tiny particles on the floor in front of it. But I was expecting a bit more of a wow factor, for me anyway, the beam doesn't stretch far enough, and when using the vacuum cleaner normally, I'm moving it too fast to make any use of it. And in bright light or well-lit rooms, the beam isn't easy to see, making the feature almost pointless. So is it any good? Well, yes. If you're someone who vacuums slowly in poorly lit rooms, or you need or want an additional certainty that a room's floor is spotless, well, well it's okay. However, the V11 appears to do just as good a job with the floor. And where I've used it, I haven't felt the need to go over the surface with the V15. In terms of real world use, I haven't noticed much difference between the V11 and the V15. Sure, the V15 has more power and that must mean it's picking up more dirt. But the V11 does an outstanding job of cleaning rooms. The dynamic load sensor or DLS in the main cleaning head does a great job of detecting the floor surface it's on adjusting the power accordingly, thereby making the most efficient use of the vacuum cleaner and helping to save battery power. To help show these vacuum cleaners side by side, I've taken the following footage. The attachments are all useful too. The additional light pipe that comes with the V15 is good for those poorly lit and difficult to reach places. But the standard crevice tool attachment that comes with both cleaners does a similar job, minus the light. So overall, are they any good? Well, in short, yes. In the time I've been using them, I've grown to like both vacuum cleaners. The simple fact of being able to pick them up and use them without worrying about the battery running out is great. Each vacuum cleaner weighs just over three kilograms, making them light enough to not cause much of an issue. And the two cleaning heads are well suited for their intended purpose. However, my biggest gripes about the vacuum cleaners are the price, the power trigger, and the complete lack of being able to stand them up. 
Dyson vacuum cleaners are not known for being cheap, but they are well made and both are Dyson's premium products. To power both vacuum cleaners, there is a finger trigger which you have to keep pressed while using them. Now I find it baffling how Dyson can spend years developing an acoustic sensor and its algorithms to detect particle size, but not include a lock on the trigger so you don't have to keep it manually pressed all the time. And on a similar note, for such a premium price, why can't they independently be stood up for those moments when you need to put the cleaner down to move something out of the way? So which one of these vacuum cleaners should you get? Well, if the price for both are the same, then I'd recommend the V15. Not only is it more powerful than V11, but its particle detection system and green light beam is designed to give you more comfort or visibility of how well it's working. So if you're someone who wants the best of the best, then get the V15. However, the V11 is no slouch. Sure, it doesn't come with a particle detection system or green light beam, but that's not to say it's not doing a great job. So if you can find it cheaper than the V15, then perhaps you might want to save some money and consider this. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe below and then hit that like button. And then watch this video, this video, and this video.